Hello everyone, this is Nora from Nora Brown Design and in this video I'm going to look at some of the features of eJunkie that allow you to customize the checkout process. Um, in this example I'm selling an ebook online. Um, so normally um, eJunkie will automatically send a thank you email that's common to all your products as well as a specific product email and then generally the payment processor will also send an email. So that seems like too many emails so I'm going to get rid of the common email just by making sure that this field here is blank. The Oh sorry, this field here. Common thank you email subject and content. Um, also on this page you have a couple of options for the thank you page. You can either enter HTML in this box for um, the eJunkie thank you page or you can enter your own custom URL um, that the purchaser will be redirected to on your own website. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and then we're going to look at our product and customize the checkout process for that product specifically. Um, and in particular we're going to customize the thank you email. And eJunkie has a number of variables that you can use in your thank you email. Um, here is mine right here. You can see these variables to customize the thank you email for the person and for the product. So I have dear first name, thank you for your purchase of so and so product. It lists the invoice number and provides um, a link to the order details as well as their specific download link for the digital product. Um, and you can see a list of all the variables that you can use um, in the eJunkie documentation. There's a ton of them, more than you would ever need really, for the order and for that specific item. So we can go ahead and, and you have to also make sure that this box is clicked Enable Templated Email. And this is your email template here. So we'll save that and we don't need to change anything there. And then on this final page you can customize the download page. Um, that is the page buyers will actually visit to download their product. Um, so I just have some custom HTML here. Thank you for your purchase. And again you can use those template variables um, such as the item name, the purchaser's name, etc to make it a really custom page. And um, if I had other products, uh, another good feature is that you can promote those products um, that you think buyers of this product would be interested in. So we'll go ahead and submit that and we'll be taken to the page where we can collect our button code for this product. Now if you've only changed the checkout process um, and you already have installed the button code on your website, then you don't need to do it again. This stuff won't have changed. But in this case, I will go ahead and show you how to install this button code on your website. So you've got your Add to Cart button code and your View Cart button code. The Add to Cart button code is per product, so you need one of these for each individual product. The View Cart button code, you just need one per page. So first I'm going to right click and select all, and then I can Command C or Control C, or I can right click and copy. And then we'll go to our product article, In we're using text pattern here. Um, so I'm going to go in here, and I already have my button code in here, but really it's just a matter of pasting and going back, collecting our view card button code, copy, and it's this whole shebang here, paste, save that, and we can see our buttons on our product page right here. 
Add to Cart, View Cart. So that's about all there is to customizing your eJunkie checkout process.